we belong here, we can do this work, um, but we also contribute to the educational experience of other students by all that we bring to the classroom. My name is Noel Erskine. My name is Reverend Dr. Zandra Jordan. I'm Luther Smith, and I'm sitting in the atrium of the Candler School of Theology. Candler is, is, is a special place. I had a wonderful Candler experience. It has shaped me into the professional that I am now. Um, the work that I'm doing now is a combination of who I was before and who I became through the program. This is for you and for your formation for as a response of your commitment to God and the searching that occurs within the context of a class, the discoveries that occur, the interactions that occur. A common question uh, that I received as a first year Candler stu student was, where did you go to undergrad? And that was easy for me to answer. I would just say Spelman College and move on. But in Dr. Smith's class, the question was, what were you doing right before you came here? And that I had to answer in a different way. Whoever we are, whatever we're doing, it's because of our having roots that are responsible for whatever flourishing uh, we have. It, it forced me to just be fully who I am um, and fully who I was at that time in my theological journey and, and embrace all that came with that. People are able to risk risk breaking the silence and risk finding their, their voices, finding themselves. I recognize that its namesakes are so highly revered and cherished here at Candler. Timothy MacDonald and Sharon Austin and Bernice King and Louis Logan. Deeply Rooted says we are connected to those who came before us and already also to those who will come after us. You are offering many students an understanding of, of matters of lineage and um, how uh, across the generations we can truly be for one another in, in a very tangible way. The Erskine Smith Mosley Scholarship, to my knowledge, I was the first recipient and that was huge. <laughs> Part of what it really means is for me to stand in the doorway and ensure that people of color can come in. As one who benefited greatly from the Black Church Studies program, it meant so very much to me uh, to know that the program recognized me as somebody who was deserving to, to bear that name. And I, I received it as a kind of charge that this scholarship holds the names of Smith, Erskine, Mosley. And they were such trailblazers here at Candler. We are the people of Job. We're Africa's children. I hope we never lose that. Understanding those histories, that it didn't start with us, that learning about the legacies and the feet that have paved paths for us or the shoulders on which we stand, they enable us. I don't think students realize um, how important they are to the educational enterprise. I mean, without students, there's no school. Students are everything. And um, to help them break the silence and, and come to speech, you know, claim language, express themselves. I think the legacy of Black Candler is one of pride. It says that we will be authentically who we are while engaged in this theological study, that we don't have to check our identity, our culture, our passions, our activist sensibilities at the door in order to be here. But it's a risk. It's, it's, it's part of the risk of what it means to be human because you have to be human with others and human with others who are different and how to risk embracing difference and at the same time guarantee that you're not, you don't lose, you don't lose essentially who you are. To me that's 
important to live as someone who has a spirit of gratitude for the now. How to be human in a world that challenges our humanity. Never think of a class as something to just get through in order to move toward the degree. We're not just studying theology in the classroom, but if we say we care about justice, then that has something to do with how we live it out right now. You don't want to miss uh, anything that's going on, not just with a professor, but with classmates, as well as within oneself, uh, the kinds of things that surface when you're really engaged with a subject matter and, and thinking as you're listening. Claim your personhood. You know, really try to be open and embrace, take in as much as you can. It goes by so quickly, you'll be amazed. You are a light. Life after Candler is beautiful because of Candler. We are not here accidentally. And uh, you are a source of, of hope. Any morning I wake up and I go, and see myself standing in the doorway for oppressed people. It's that day, that damn day. I leave.